Hello and welcome to this week's content tea party. If you're joining us for the replay, welcome. And you know, I hope you have something warm with you, a warm drink, especially today. It's um, it's usually pretty warm here, but you know, it is November, so it's getting a bit chilly. In fact, I think it's the first time I'm wearing a jumper this year. I quite like the cold, you know, living in a very hot country, we kind of look forward to getting a break for it, from it. So, right. So today's topic is really, really juicy. And I actually picked it up from one of our conversations in my Facebook group this week. And, you know, it's something we talk about a lot, but I think a lot of people struggle um, because, you know, it's something that we need to do all the time. And, you know, there aren't really many long term strategies that you can use to grow your list. So today's topic is how to use content to grow your list. And you've probably heard a lot of different people promote different things. And today I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview of the main ways I have used to grow my email list. Now, if you're pretty new to this kind of business, if you're new especially to online business and you still don't understand maybe the reason why you need an email list, the reason why you need an email list is so that you have a way of communicating easily with people who are interested in your topic so that when you launch something, you actually have a lo an audience to launch to. You can't really rely on uh, on things like you know social media when you come to launching because of course the reach is is what it is it's always diminishing so when you come to launching your email is going to be your best asset especially if you plan to have you know if you're selling one-to-one -one coaching or if you plan to have training courses so anything that you intend to launch sort of to have an audience to launch so you need to have your your email list which is going to be always sort of the free side of your launch because of course then uh, you can have facebook ads or google ads and different kinds of ads but that is a different ball game altogether today we're going to focus on growing your list because growing your list is important for whatever you're planning to do in your business. No matter what you're selling, you need an audience to sell to. So that's really, really important. And of course, um, if you're here, I can see there's a few people are watching. Drop me an emoji so I can see who you are later. Um, and we can have a quick chat. And maybe if you have questions, we can also engage a little bit later. So let's dive right in and talk about um, what we need to do to grow our list now one thing that of course we all do is create content but what kind of content is going to create to actually help you grow your list now the first thing you need to do is have a good look at your audience have a good look at the kind of people you're servicing and try to break them down into into segments so usually most people are going to have two or three sections in their customer journey there's definitely the ones that are ready to buy that's an easy one to find and then there's going to be also um, that section of your audience where maybe you know that people are going to come out of interest they're going to read your content they're going to watch your videos um, you know they're going to they're going to be in your orbit and they're interested in what you're doing but maybe they're not ready to buy they are still learning so these are ideally the kind of people you want to put on your list because then it is a mutually beneficial relationship. Once they are on, the, on your list, then you keep, you can, you know, it's an easy way for them to find more of your content and, and learn about what you're teaching or, you know, the, the kind of topics that you share content about. And at the same time, when you come to launch a product, it may be a fit for them. So, you know, they're not going to be annoyed with you, you know, actually telling them that you're offering something because they are within your target audience. So how do we get these people on our list? The, the most important thing is to understand that there are these two types of people. So when you're creating your content, let's say you're creating blog posts or videos, you're going to potentially sit down and write a list of topics. Now, you need to have a look at the topics you're going to talk about or you're going to write about and separate them into two buckets. The ones where they are ready to buy, and in that case, 
you would always close with a call to action that is to get in touch with you to buy your product um, to maybe visit a page where you have testimonials so whatever is going to bring them closer to the sale but then you're always going to have a much bigger bucket of people who are not there to buy people who are there out of interest um, who may turn into buyers later or may not that's perfectly fine so what you want to do is then you want to have something to take them to so you want to have a call to action which is going to be to either download something um, or to you know take something maybe um, maybe you can have a free mini course so anything that can be given in exchange of a name and an email address sometimes you see longer forms and people ask for more information I wouldn't recommend longer forms if you need more information from your audience you can always ask them later when they're already on your email list so especially now that we have to always add in Europe at least we have to add the GDPR checklist you know name and email are much more than enough so the next thing you need to do is of course to to try and have this thing this lead magnet that's gonna entice them to jump on your list and you know usually the best thing is something that is ideally very much connected to the content you're creating so try to theme theme your content and sort of collect it into into theme groups so that you don't end up having a different freebie for every piece of content for example if let's use list building as an example let's say you have you, you talk about list building and you also talk about seo and you talk about different kinds of marketing what you want to do is you want to cluster them into groups and then you want to have a freebie for each it's very important because you know you don't want to end up having a freebie every time you write an article or, or a blog post or you create a video it can be very tempting because you always want to give more value but it's something that becomes unfeasible in the long term so definitely you can have a freebie to get people on your on your list but um, another thing is um, you know you can have what we call content upgrades so you can write a guide which is aimed at ranking on social ranking on search engines so you know sometimes you see these they can be anything two three four five even ten thousand words i think the longest one i've written is about nine thousand and you can have these really long guides that really help people you know tackle one of the struggles that your business resolves and what you do then is you offer a content upgrade a content upgrade is let's say you have this really valuable guide and then you offer them to download either a checklist that goes with it or you know maybe an ebook um, or else you could also have maybe a roadmap that explains the guide and has a checklist that comes with it whatever you do you want to make sure that the people that jump on your list are action takers so try to connect your freebie or your lead magnet to taking action for instance a checklist is a very good example if i'm not going to action what i read i very likely will not download the checklist so you know a roadmap a checklist anything that helps them a workbook uh, can be really really good as well okay so but how do we actually then once we have created this content so once we have matched the content the content upgrades once we have our blogs and our videos and then we have the lead magnets how do we actually reach people so the first and obvious one is to go out there and find some Facebook groups. You can find Facebook groups where you know your target audiences. It might take you some time, but you know, um, pinpoint three, maybe four groups that have a very specific target audience. Ideally, find some that have a large number, um, but pick the ones that have engagement because if there is no engagement in groups, especially Facebook groups, you are not going to get visibility. And what you want to do is you want to wait you know most of these groups will have a weekly share post and you want to take note in your calendar where when their weekly share posts are and go in and share your post on that particular day so this is one thing that you can do to reach people organically another thing of course you can do is share it on your page and on your social media but unfortunately you can only do that once um, what you can do is then maybe you can invest a little bit of money and boost that post with your freebie so that the people who already follow you and know who you are therefore sort of they're a little bit of a warm audience get to see your freebie and you know they are more likely to jump on your email list because they are you know your Instagram followers they're your Facebook followers 
um, they are people who have already followed you to some extent. Another thing you definitely can do is if you're writing blogs every week and you're SEOing and you're making sure that you get organic traffic on your website, you can have your freebie as a pop-up. So if you have a pop-up, um, usually I do prefer pop-ups that pop up before you leave a website um, or sometimes they appear after you have been on a website for a few seconds. So you've got to give people a little bit of time because you don't want it um, you don't want it to sort of to be a bit too intrusive. A lot of people hate pop-ups. Um, I'm a pop-up hater myself, but they are very effective. So I would definitely recommend if you have a freebie, it's the one way to make sure that all the people who visit your website actually see it. And you know, if your target audience uh, of your freebie is very close to the people who are coming to your site, and of course they are going to be because you will have planned it all and you have blog posts that you're sharing on social media and you know, you're ranking in Google and they are from a topic that is connected to your lead magnet. So of course, there's gonna be a connection there and you're gonna get a good percentage. You're gonna get, you know, usually, I mean, I had uh, probably one of the best freebies on my site, um, which used to get actually one out of every three people who visited my site used to jump on my email list. I have removed that now because I'm, I'm doing other things with that space on my site, um, but it can work really, really well. And a pop-up is probably one of the best ways to do that. And then of course, um, what you want to do is, you want to make sure that your freebie is available everywhere. So you want to make sure that your freebie can be found on your profile, so wherever you have links, on your Instagram profile, on your Facebook profile, anywhere, even on your page, in your groups, you want to make sure that all the people who join your Facebook group can see a link to your freebie. You want to make sure that absolutely everybody that comes into contact with any of your touch points finds that freebie. And then you will see that, you know, it will tick along. You get a few people, um, a few people a week, and then, you know, there'll be times when there's more people online, maybe you're doing more content, and there is more activity uh, in your orbit, and you see that there'll be a spike, you know, obviously it tends to spike. Um, around around the holidays when people tend to spend more time on, on social media. So, you know, you will see that it kind of ticks along nicely. But one of the best ways actually to get people on your list is to actually launch regularly. And this is something that not a lot of people talk about because, you know, people talk about running ads all the time and that can be really expensive. So I think that the best way to really make it worth your while and grow your list at the same time is to actually, instead of spending, say, I don't know, instead of spending three, four, five hundred dollars a month on Facebook ads to just get people on your email list, what you want to do is you want to bring more visibility to your website. So you might want to boost some blog posts that have the link to actually then jump on your email list by downloading the freebie because that way you know that you're attracting a warm audience and then what you want to do is you want to when you have a launch you want to make sure that you save that budget instead of spending a lot every month you just spend a little and you know just to keep a bit of a presence and then what you want to make sure of is that you launch say three or four times a year even if you create a mini course specifically so that you can have like a, a mini launch. So what you want to do is that every quarter you have put a budget away and you are launching and then you give a super boost to your email list. So obviously it is going to depend on what leads cost um, in your industry and it is going to depend on you know um, how much budget you're going to spend. So it's difficult to say you know what would be a typical number. However, um, running, for instance, uh, free free programs. Um, the first I rem I ran, I remember a couple of summers ago now. I ran a free summer school, and I think I only spent about a hundred dollars on ads, and I actually had like three hundred people apply for it. So if you get the timing right, especially during the holidays, probably not Christmas holidays, but after Christmas. Uh, and you know the summer holidays when people have a bit more time and you put a little bit of a budget and you put something out there which is really high quality 
um, something like like a training that then maybe at the end you can also pitch something so that you can get your money back for what you spent on ads and this all of this is going to feed people into into your email list but the most important thing is that you don't forget your focus so always remember that you are building your email list so that they are people who are interested in what you're selling so it's important to stay focused and make sure that you're always very aware of the kind of people you're attracting to your list because you don't want to grow it with the wrong people because that will be uh, that will be completely useless to you and in fact this happened to me a couple of times because I took u-turns and I pivoted in my business and I changed the business many times so I actually had to start list building from scratch a couple of times so Definitely, this is um, probably the best piece of advice I can give you that, you know, to align your launches with your list building goals. And of course, um, if you don't have something to launch, you can actually have small launches around your one-to-one -one programs as well. So if you're not doing groups yet, you're just doing consultancy. Uh, for instance, one of the first things I had offered, I used to have a webinar which was called um, there's the content planning webinar and I used to run that a couple of times a year where I used to just have a group uh, of people online and we would do the content plan together and and at the end I would just uh, pitch I think it was a one-hour session uh, which had you know a discount because I think at the time I used to sell them for $200 and then like it was discounted to say 150 uh, for the hour that we were on the webinar and usually all the people on the webinar used to buy because all the people who bothered turning up really wanted support so you know it was an easy sale so you know you can also sell little things like that if you're not doing groups yet to help you cover the cost of the ads and that is going to feed back into your list building so from a business perspective you have to say okay so this is going to be like you know something extra that I am doing so that the money from that is going to feed into my list building so in a way you kind of don't work it into your profits for the business and you don't work it into your total revenue it's because it's money that's going to go back into the business to grow your email list okay gosh I went a lot further than the three tips I had on paper but I think um, it's important that I mentioned the, the, the whole picture because I think a lot of people out there tend to just focus on one slice of what list building is. And of course, there are a lot of other things that we could go into. Um, so in fact, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them underneath this video um, during or after the live. And I would be very happy to answer you as usual. And OK, so I wanted to just mention one little thing. Um, because list building is one thing that we will touch on on the final day of the free training that I will be starting on the 7th of December. I have mentioned this last week as well. I have not released the page publicly yet. I believe I have mentioned that to my group and I have posted it on my page earlier today and I will now start sharing it in the next week or so you will start seeing um, the registration page popping up if you're already in my group that's the best way to follow the free program but also if you also want to receive um, you know the resources because we are going to have a worksheet for every day and we're going to have a workbook for the final day so if you want to receive those in your email and you want to make sure that you get a reminder to jump on the call um, you may want to register so that you get your email notifications um, I would share the, the link with you really soon. I'm very excited about this program. I've been talking to the ladies in my group. And yes, yes, Sayel, in fact, um, we have set up the ads today, in fact, and we're running a couple of tests. Um, it's not the official campaign yet, in fact, um, but, you know, it will be running probably in about 48 hours. It will be running properly. So it's great uh, that you've seen it already. It's already starting to work. Very good. Yes, we have been extra cautious this time around with the ads on Facebook because, of course, there's a lot of ads. Uh, there's been a lot of funny things happening with the, 
with ads around the US election campaign. And now, of course, we know that there's Black Friday coming, so we have been extra careful to start the ads a little bit early. But yes, in the next few days, you're going to see everything rolled out. And, you know, if you don't, don't worry. Uh, feel free to pop me a message um, and I'll be very happy to share the link with you. And I'm really excited because I was just saying, you know, um, I am getting a lot of information and I'm asking questions in the group because, of course, the free training is already planned. But, you know, it always really helps. I, I really like to know the kind of group that I'm already working with um, so that I can really answer your questions during the training because I think it's very important that the context of the training it's not just that's the that's why I like to do them live and not pre-recorded because I think the contest the context of the difficulties that people are experiencing right now is going to be extremely important to you know inject a lot of value into the free training okay fantastic so yes Sayali so said she has registered excellent and you're excited very very good yeah so you saw the ad and you registered through that you've been very lucky i think <laughs> i think there's been like one or two registrations from the ad so far so you're really really one of the first fantastic so great well as usual if you have questions about what i just mentioned um feel free to pop it under this video and as usual I will see you again next week and I'll be seeing a lot more of you because of course we're all getting ramped up for the free training. Thank you very much for joining me again and I'll see you next week.